everybody and welcome to this week's plan with me this week i'm going to be planning from the 9th to the 15th of july and this week i am going to be using the moo cow kit from your world of color i have the four boxes and flags some sidebar pieces and your half boxes headers and little things uh, some reason i have two lots of washi and I've also pulled in this sheet from Lucinda Charlotte because I wanted some date covers but couldn't find any so this is the closest I've got to go with the kit. Also to go with that I have this lovely cow clip from my unicorn planner and this charm from a planner friend and I've pulled in these two washi tapes as well. Um, using this kit because I believe the 10th is National Cow Day so all us girls on the Your World of Colour PR team are going to be using this kit for this week and I will have all their spreads at the end so you can see how they've used this kit so I'm going to start by placing the washi across the top with my date covers and the other washi along the bottom. Um, I think last week went uh, really well. I managed to pick myself up a lovely dress from Primark on one of the reduced rails. So that was good. I'll rip my washi a little bit, that'll be okay. So not too much going on this week I don't think. Um, my eldest does have her two intake days on the 9th and 10th where she goes for a full day at her secondary school so she knows what it's like. So I've got that this week. Um, I'm not sure I've got any other big major plans. Why do I keep ripping this washi? just gonna do all the bits I said I would and speed through I don't think I have much more to tell you but when it does come to the end I will look, link all the other girls spreads as well as any social media or blogs that they have so you can go check those out I am just going to line these up with the bottom of that washi to try and leave as much space as I can for planning this week just in case because you never know when something comes up so I will just speed through the rest of this for you.
on on the sidebar so let's move on to day by day uh, Monday is a big day um, I first place a to do header and then my checklist underneath that um, there's no checklists with this kit so I have pulled some from leftover kits that I thought would go with this under there I place my today header and a full box then I go in with a unicorn with blue hair from my friend Mochi and one of the graduation emotes for marking my eldest had her first full intake day I also place a half box from the kit and a planner from your world of colour to mark that my plan with me goes up And then I move on to my little things. I use a unicorn watching a laptop to mark that I want to watch plan with me videos. And then a heart sticker from Ickle and Co to mark that Love Island is on as well as a Instagram sticker from Stationery Heaven Co to mark that I want to share my weekly spread. Tuesday is another big day uh, my daughter has intake again so I take the half box from the kit and the unicorn with blue hair again to mark this um, I just remembered that the reason I put an emoji with the last one on Monday is because I do have an open evening at her secondary school as well on that day underneath this half box I place a summary drink to mark that I need to go meet my mum I then place a to buy header and cut a checklist down to just four hearts to mark what stuff I need to buy when I'm with my mum at town I have some last minute bits to pick up for funeral next week Underneath this I place my today header and a full box and then I go on to my little things I take a long flag from the kit with a unicorn sitting at a desk to mark that my girls need to do some studying um, also another one of those little hearts to mark Love Island and a f Facebook character from Stationery Heaven Co to mark that I want to do some promoting for your world of colour Moving on to Wednesday, I start Wednesday from the bottom 
with start with a checklist and a to do header. I did this because I wanted to place my little things in the middle, so I needed to make sure I judged enough space. I then place a piece of washi from the kit with a midweek script from Samantha May Sticks. Then a heart again to mark Love Island and a reading unicorn to mark that my girls need to do some reading. And then I top it all with the little things header. Here I'm just placing the full box and the to do he uh, today header at the very top. And then I will place a bedroom script word to mark that it. I need to tidy the bedrooms this day. Followed by a post-it note sticker from Lucinda Charlotte. And then I place a Etsy shopping time sticker on top of it to mark that I want to do an Etsy order. I think I'm going to do another order from Your World of Colour because she's just released some new exclusive kits that are just in her shop. You won't find the artwork or anything anywhere else. Moving on to Thursday. I start with a half box and a shopping unicorn to mark my shopping delivery. Obviously I can't mark the time because I don't do my shopping till the previous day. But I can pop the time in after. Underneath this I put in a film sticker from Happy Cutie Studio to mark that I want to film my kit storage for you all so you can see how I store my weekly kits. Underneath that I place my to-do checklist and again I cut this into four. Underneath that I place my today header and the full deco box. And then lastly for Thursday is just my little things. I place one of those hearts to mark Love Island and an Instagram sticker from Stationery Heaven Co to mark that I want to do some promoting for your world of colour. Friday I start with a to-do header and a checklist. And then I use a half box from the kit with a filming emoji and a planner to mark that I need to plan and film my weekly plan with me. After this I place some washi from the kit with a pizza sticker from 15 
prill or frill i can't, don't know how you pronounce it but it looks like prill and then i just place my little things down which is a heart for love island and then i place another one of those post-it stickers and a unicorn reading to mark that my girls need to do some reading Moving on to Saturday and Sunday, I first start by placing the today headers and then I realise I can't have full boxes opposite each other. So I swap them for to do headers and then realise I am using flags and not boxes so you would see that green line. So I do end up taking all this up. I just cut these flags into five because they are six. Here is where I take it all up and decide to stick some washi down first. So then the header goes over the green line. I'm quite glad that I do have two sheets of the bottom washi and washi strips so then I can use the same colour and the same size after the checklist flags I place a today header and the deco boxes on each day And now I just move on to my little things for Saturday. I'm using a movie night sticker from a Harriet Wright sheet to mark that I want to watch a film this night, as well as a Facebook sticker from Stationery Heaven Co. to mark that I want to do some promoting on Facebook for the Plump Planner. On Sunday I place a heart for Love Island and an Instagram sticker to mark that I want to share my finished spread at the end of the week. After this I'm just going to go through and double check everything go through the stickers that I pulled out that I wanted to use and see what I've missed. I do place a unicorn with blue hair on Thursday to mark that my eldest has her nuclear lesson as well as an edit sticker on Saturday and another edit sticker on Wednesday just going to go through now and fill all the checklists so here is my finished spread I hope you enjoyed this plan with me I will insert everybody else's spreads after this um, if you are not subscribed please hit that subscribe button and like this video for more videos like this and I will see you in my next one bye